Welcome to SkillHeader with a new project related to the front desk or reception record keeping system, which will be applicable for all organizations with some difference in data entry level. Some of the organizations have multiple front desk officers shifting for about eight hours. So we will proceed with our previous login and logout user authentication system. If you have not watched those videos, links are available in the description or you can click on the I button above to access the advanced login system. Data entry form will be pop up like this, and only today's patient entries will be available in the list and main form. You will learn about all three objects of access in this video related to tables, queries, and forms. Let's get started. We will be using it to build a medical record system for the patient in a clinic or hospital. For this purpose, we have to create a table with these fields and data types. Let's give our table a name. Applying format for date, time, and currency along with the default current date and time. There is a predefined format and access related to the data entry form. I am filling out a demo record. The below control box reflects the count of records along with other navigation options. I will proceed to a more professional solution to do this. For now, I will not save this form. Let's arrange the main form a bit by adding the header and footer section. Objects can be aligned from the anchoring option. A button is required here to pop up the data entry form. This main form will contain a subform based on the table. Selecting the subform properties from the corner, form's default view can be changed from datasheet to continuous form.
To make it available in a table view, layout should have to be converted to tabular form. Let's make some quick changes to make it more precise. There is no need for record selectors because the user can delete or edit the record by right-clicking. Both the main and subform record selector and control box options should be eliminated like this. We can make the access form responsive for desktop screen ratios. Moving towards creating a new blank form for data entry. Form properties is set to the table data from the properties. All custom fields will be integrated into the table field accordingly later.
renaming all the text boxes according to the table fields. Hence, I copied the date text box so the same format has been applied to all other text boxes. We can remove the format using properties or change it as per the format. Here is the method to open the entry form through pop-up. Working on the close button. The main form is not updated after entering the record from the pop-up form. To overcome this, we can have a code here. Perfectly done. If we want to display the record related to the current date only, we have to use a query builder based on the table.
we will set the criteria to the date function from the expression builder. Very fine, the query is working as expected. We can disable the text box of the date, so the user cannot change the date with this method. Let's create an exit button to quit the software. Please comment about the video and what you have learned from it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, and share the video for my motivation. See you in the next video.